Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the famed Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey, where so many great fights have gone on through the years. Here we go, round number one, scheduled for six. Commits to the straight right. Defensively, I'm assuming the taller fighter in this matchup tonight really has to be conscious of protecting his body, Teddy. You know, Joe, that's a great point. We think about the taller guy only being vulnerable to the chin if the shorter man gets in. But if you're tall, there's a lot of long and usually lean body to attack. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. And now you can see him utilizing the jab. You know, a lot of times you see a guy on the outside bouncing around, staying away. You understand the use of a jab. But when you're coming forward, you have to come forward with a cover. And that jab, that's the cover. What an impact that left hand just made by Merciless. And he looks as fresh as could be. Looks like a crisp fighter ready to engage in battle. Little head hunting with the left. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Doubles up the jab. Money's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Mayweather's commitment to just pure offense is lacking right now. I mean, the guy has to let the hands go. Well, he was hurt earlier. You know, there was a little short punch on the inside around before, and nobody really noticed it. But guess what? He did. And I think that's why you're seeing him be a little bit unsure of himself and not throwing the punches that otherwise you'd say, hey, come on, how come you're not? That is why. Money's just not throwing many jabs here tonight, Teddy. I know that really bothers you. You like a guy that commits to the jab, don't you? Well, that's boxing 101. I mean, that's the fundamentals. And it has so many areas where it serves you. I mean, it sets up your punches. It sets up your offense. But it controls your defense. It keeps the guy at a certain distance. Gives the guy something to think about. Just the most basic thing in the world. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. His opponent may regret the way he has started this fight tonight, finding himself already in a hole on Teddy's scorecard down three rounds. And he ties up on the inside. seconds to go in round number four he scores with the jab there you know Joe a lot of times you think about a jab being used by an outside guy but to get inside you need a cover and there right there was the cover money's feeling the impact of that powerful hook targeting that belt line with the right hand Well, you can mark down another round for him there with his precise, accurate punching. What does his opponent have to do? He has to faint a little bit. Fainting is the kryptonite to timing. It throws it off. You know, you faint and you're going to throw something, you don't throw it. And then he makes a move, then you throw it. Fainting. That's the key. He snaps a jab. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Oh, 
Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. A solid left hand by Merciless. Last 10 seconds. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. They put forth a good effort throughout. Now one more meeting. The final round is here. Wow, a big flush blow. The left hand by Merciless. Doubling up the jab by Money. He got caught by that right hand. He never saw it coming. He may be looking to clinch here. Oh, look at that. He's hurt. But hey, I give him credit. He's smart enough to know what to do now. Yeah, the referee needs a crowbar to separate him. A well-timed right hand by Merciless. Well, there he is on the outside, staying away from any danger, but still able to do what he wants. Hey, Joe, so often we talk about the height, we talk about the length, but how about talking about patience? How about talking about discipline? He's using both those assets beautifully, staying on the outside, getting his kind of fight.